press the button when you want it to start. Hey everybody, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Art Villa found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And the damn coming to you with, uh, uh, I mentioned the story and there was a, then a request, of course, to say, I wait, I wait for the story, so I gotta tell the story. I told the story about the shopping carts and you know, damn you old people. Well, I have a actual, I, I have a story to tell on myself. It's just, you hate to, I hate to base myself on YouTube. You know, I try to just, you, you know, no, I don't. Anyway, okay, telling the story. Um, I'm at, and this is years and years ago. I don't know, how old was I? I was in my 20s, okay, working hard, and I, and I needed to go to the store, okay? So I came home after work, just completely dead tired out of my mind. You all been there, right? The last thing you want to do is have to stop someplace and run a few errands because it's bare. You can barely drive home and crawl out of your vehicle, right, to get in your house. I know some people aren't like that. I know a few people. They come home and they're like, "Let's cut a tree down." I worked all day. I got up at four. I went to work, and now I'm cutting a tree down, and I don't care. I feel great, and I'm gonna drink a 12 pack on top of it. I was never like that. I would come home and like. Oh, it'd be me maybe mentally, maybe it was just a mental drain. Anyway, that's going on again. Okay, so I stop at the store and I'm pushing my car around. Oh, and I'm putting a few things in it. I'm not in anybody's way. I just like to point that out right now. I had enough sense of myself that I wasn't going to be in anybody's way. I don't want you to think that I'm like an old person. No, when I was a young person, I was being, I was ahead of my time. That's what I was. I was ahead of my time, but I wasn't anyone's way. Anyway, get to the story. Okay, so I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and, and I'm just like pushing the cart. I got something, I'm pushing the cart, and I hear this like, ah! And I, I don't remember what was said, but I'm like, what? I turn around and there's this lady standing behind me with this look of horror, absolute look of horror on her face. I'm like, what? And she, and she looks at me and, she's, and she kind of reaches in front of me and grabs a cart. I'm like, what? And I look down and there's a purse in the cart. I didn't have, I had her cart. I was pushing her cart. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn. And I'm like, what do you do in a case like that? I threw up my hands and said, oh my God, I'm sorry. I, I just wasn't paying any attention. Well, you know what her response was. was like, you know, I thought she was going to, if she had something sharp she would have stuck me because she thought I was stealing her purse and there was nothing I could say. I guess the point of this video is there's these times in your life when you do something and it's a mistake and you feel horrible about it and there's nothing you can say that's going to change the person's mind like that you weren't trying to screw them. I have to tell this other story about this client that I had that came in with this job he invented something and he needed a brochure and he brought the thing in and we agreed to a price. I'm doing a thing and he has a drawing and I hate the drawing. It really sucks. So I took it upon myself. I redrew the whole thing to scale so he would have a nice clean uh, product rendering instead of this piece of shit that I was supposed to use. Didn't charge him for it, okay? Spent hours on it just because I wanted it to look nice. I sent him an invoice and I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't look, I, did, I typed in a number which I thought I added an extra zero or something. So instead of $200, it was $2,000 just because I didn't pay any attention. And I get a call from this guy. What are you trying to do? Screw me? I'm like, what? What do you got me by the short hairs? He actually said that. I didn't know what that meant. Somebody had to explain it to me later. That's how naive I was. You got me by the short hairs. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? He didn't explain that part because you're charging me this much. And I guess I'm, now I'm, you're halfway into it. I'm just going to have to do it. And I'm like, what? Wait, wait. And I, I pull the invoice out. And I'm like, what? No, this is a mistake. This is, I just added, I just did, it was the wrong number. So, but then, you know, he came in and it's with his wife and they're sitting at the table like, Arr! through the whole thing. He couldn't get over that I could have put an extra zero in the thing. And that wasn't, what? Ah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do in an instant like that? When you, you know, do a small little thing, like try to steal a lady's purse or rip somebody off on an invoice. <laughs> and they don't believe you that it's just a mistake. Uh, so what I did was, with the lady, I held up my, um, back in the, uh, this would be the early 80s, I had this uh, device right here, which I can't show you because it's still classified, but it's a device that stops time. Okay, I'm still, I'm like in, in the same dimension, but every this doesn't really stop it, it just slows it way down. So the people around me can't see me because just when I'm moving naturally like this, it's so fast they can't see me. So what I did was, I made a quick change, I came back, into the dimension looking like this in front of the lady and I said, lady, 
If you're horrified by me now, wait for 20 years. And I'm going to appear like this. And, and then what will you think? And um, she just stopped for a second and said, you want to go have sex? And, and I married her three months later. I, you never know in life. You just got to be yourself. That's the whole point of this video.